All right, here's a quick video on whether to tell something is linear versus nonlinear. Um, linear means a line, and nonlinear means anything except a line. So curvy, circles, whatever. So when you look at a graph, you just need to see a line. So this is linear because you had a straight line. B would be nonlinear because it has curves. C is going to be nonlinear. Because it was not a straight line, you've got some curves. Um, D, what do you think it is? You are right, it is nonlinear. You have some curves. All right, E, do you see a line? Yes, so it is linear. F, do you see a line? Yes, so it is linear. Okay. Make sure it's a straight line for a graph. All right, tables are a little bit trickier. You have to make sure that they are going up by a constant rate each time. So what you have to do is find the rate of change. So I would do 36 minus 18, and I got 18. So let me check if they're adding 18 each time. 54 minus 36 is 18, so that's good. 72 minus 54 is 18. And lastly, 90 minus 72 is 18. So, so far, so good on that one. The top we see is going up by 2 each time. So, that would be a linear. They are going up by the same numbers on the top and on the bottom. Okay. On B. 5 minus 3 would be a 2. So let's see, make sure they're adding 2. 5 plus 2 would be a 7, adding 2. Same thing here, they're adding 2 each time. On this column, they're each adding 1. So that is going to be linear. Because everything on the x's are going up by the same, and then every number on the y column is going up by the same. So on C, let's see what they went up by. 0 plus 2 is 2. Um, then they went backwards, so they subtracted. So how do you go from a 2 to a negative 4? You would do negative 4 minus 2. So they subtracted 6 there. And then they went back up to a positive. So 7 minus negative 4 would be 11. So they added 11. So we notice that these are all going up by 1, but that y column is going up by random numbers each time. So that would be an example of nonlinear. Okay. So both the x and the y columns have to be going up by the same number to be linear. Okay. Last one, um, equations. So you know linear equations look like y equals mx plus b. So basically, if it looks like that, then it is linear, and if it does not look like that, it is nonlinear. So, I notice an exponent. That's going to be nonlinear. You cannot have an exponent and be linear. Um, b looks like y equals mx plus b, so it is linear. Um, C. That would just be y equals a number, which is fine, because that's like saying there was no slope plus a number. So that is linear. So if you have y equals a number or x equals a number, those are both linear. Um, on D, you cannot have an exponent. So since I had an exponent, that would be non-linear. Okay. So that is how you determine if something is linear or nonlinear in an equation, a table, and a graph. So now you get to work on IXL. Where did it go? All right, so you're going to log on to IXL and do S1, and it's identifying linear function.
So get started on your IXL. So this is, ooh, this is the one I want you to work on right now. Remember, here's your username, and then if you're a junior or a sophomore password. Raise your hand if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.